Hello everyone, my name is Melinda Rogers aka Scrap Metal Sheila and today I have made a video and it is a demonstration on how to make a barbed wire heart. I demonstrated on the heart that is hanging on the wall behind me and I hope you enjoy the video. To make this barbed wire heart I started with three pieces of rusty barbed wire, one half a metre long, one a metre long and one two metres long. I also had a handful of rusty tie wire already pre-cut to around about 10 centimetres long. So take your two metre piece of barbed wire and then bend the two ends around about 15 to 20 centimetres up and this is where we will join the bottom of the heart. It looks much neater than trying to join it halfway round or on the top. Then figure out where half of that loop is and put your bend in it for the top of the heart and start to work your way around there bending gradually to get the heart shape. Work on both sides and if you find that you're a little bit out of whack which mine was if you weren't consistent with the middle just re-bend it so that you can get it to look exactly how you want it to look. I just tied the bottom of my heart up there with some tie wire and I'm going to readjust my middle just like I said I I thought it was a little bit out of kilter so I reshaped that and you can do that whenever you feel like it if you don't like the shape. Just keep working on the shape until you're happy with it. Barbs can be a real problem and make it difficult for you to join your work together and look neat. So I've just cut the two ends of the of the barb so that they can neatly go up against the other barbed wire and not not have a big kink or anything in them. I'm also taking the barb off the wire you can see there just to make that a not a smoother join. Now you don't have to do that but it can just make it much easier to join together and look neater. Funny thing about barbed wire, even though we love working with barb because it looks great, the barbs can actually often get in the way of the work and all you have to do in that case is cut the barb off. So now there's no barbs on there on the end and I can join that later and it will sit neatly against the other piece of barbed wire. So when you're quite happy with your shape you might have to do a little bit of bending and adjusting to make it sit flat. This is when we will make spirals to put inside the heart. Now I've already got a lot of spirals done. They're all different sizes so that they will fit in and I will just show you how to make them. Grab onto one end with a pair of pointy nose pliers is usually the best way and start the circle. Then just continue that circle by hand. 
then get the other end and twist it the opposite way. Once you get that started, you can finish it by hand. It's, it's much easier than trying to do it with the pliers. And that, that was a 50 centimetre long piece of barb and it'll make a small spiral. And the next one is one metre and that makes quite a nice size spiral. You can use all different lengths. You don't have to just stick to those two lengths. Mine are all different sizes, but generally the largest one that I have is around about one meter long, and the smallest is 50 centimeters. So anywhere in between that will make good size spirals to place inside the heart. Now, because I've already made all of my spirals, I'm going to place them all inside this heart just to show you how you put them together. You need to have the spiral touching the outside of the frame to start with. And then you need to find spirals that will fit in so that the sides touch each other because where they touch, that's where you will tie them together with the tie wire. You can see why you need spirals of all different sizes because it's very hard to fit them in if they're all exactly the same size. Sometimes you need to adjust the spirals so that they will fit in and touch the sides. Sometimes you can just stretch them out a little bit longer or squish them in and fit them in. It's best if you don't overlap them. It looks really good if they're just touching on the edges. As you can see, mine has 13 spirals. So the next step is to tie all of these spirals onto your heart. And it, it can be quite tricky and awkward because you need to get them as tight as possible and barbed wire is always awkward. The way that I do it is to wrap them around and around. You have to to poke the wire down through and back around. And it is quite awkward. Don't think it's going to be easy because barbed wire never is. There are other ways that you can tie this on. You can use the clips that you buy at the hardware. I think they're fencing clips. They have a little pair of pliers that just clip these little clips on the only thing is that they're always silver when you buy them. So unless you're making a silver heart, they'll really show on this rusty barbed wire. So you would need to wait until they were rusty or try to rust them yourself if you were going to use clips to join your heart together. Now I'll just continue all the way around this heart just using those small pieces of tie wire to tie the barb on and as I go I will tie it internally and on the edge. So I don't really just go right around the outside, I just start on one edge and work my way through just whatever is the easiest at the time. That's what I'll tie on.
feel free to fast forward through this if you want. Once you get the hang of it, you don't really need to watch over and over again. But yeah, feel free to fast forward through to the next step once you've finished tying all your spirals on. And just make sure that you get them as firm as you can. This just helps with the heart being more stable. After you've finished tying them all on, we will go back over all of them with a pair of pliers and tighten them up. You might find that you can bend the barbs away so that they'll sit up against each other better because you will find that the barbs often get in the way. I even cut some of the barbs off my spirals if they are going to um, clash with the barb on the outside area of the heart. It is quite tedious and fiddly, but the end result is fantastic.
Once you've got all of the spirals tied on, use a pair of wire clippers and snip the long bits of tie wire off and then use your pointy nose pliers to tighten them up nice and neat. Twist the wire around and just neaten them up. Do this on all of the long straggly bits of tie wire that you have left over. I always do this rather than have very short pieces of tie wire. It's easier to tie the wire, the wires on with longer tie wire and then clip the leftover off later than it is to use tiny little short bits of tie wire. Continue with this until you've clipped off all of your excess tie wire and tightened all the spirals. Once you've tightened all your tie wire and snipped off the excess pieces, take your heart and hammer the barbs down flat. This makes it a lot easier to handle. Then flip it over and do both sides. That way, if it's hanging on a wall, there's less likelihood of it scratching the wall. And there you have the finished heart. All that's left to do now is to decorate that heart exactly how you like. Some people might not even want to decorate it because they do look lovely just hanging on the wall exactly as they are. Now I cut a biscuit tin up the bow was on the biscuit tin. I cut that out and then I cut out circular pieces of the tin and turned them into flowers. And I'm going to arrange this on my heart. You can find patterns or instructional videos about how to make tin flowers all over the internet. These are just some of my favourite ones and I really like the colour scheme of the biscuit tin, black and gold and so I decided that that was what I was going to put on. As I said earlier, 
in the video at the beginning, you can use all sorts of things to decorate your heart. I've seen them decorated with dried flowers and ribbon, with coloured glass that has been um, sandblasted or I don't know what to call it, tumbled so that the sharp edges are removed. I've seen them with glass beads tied throughout and they look really lovely. All sorts of things can be used to decorate the hearts. So it's all up to you and your imagination. The last thing to do with your heart is to put a loop on it so that you can hang it. I've simply put a loop through my tie wire and I'm going to tie that onto the top of the heart. I'll probably hang this on a wall on a nail but if you want to hang yours out in the garden on a fence or on a tree you might want to put a heavy gauge plain wire um, hook on it which will be much better out in the weather and the wind. So this is my finished heart. Remember you can decorate your heart with all sorts of things. You don't have to use tin flowers. I used an old biscuit tin to make these flowers and the bow is actually just a picture that I cut off the biscuit tin. You can use glass, beads, copper wire, all sorts of things. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more.